Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Rotated Your Rolls 2019. Thank you so much for being here guys, I really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you are live with me on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Now I know uh, Expanded was kind of the promise, but um, the Japanese tournament took place and we played Shintaro's deck um, a little bit a while ago, uh, which was really really fun to use. Really interesting deck um, definitely requires a lot of practice to make sure that you're making and being very resourceful and um h to the lum you are not watching on youtube um so yeah um thank you so much for hanging out and now we are moving on to a deck that ended up winning the whole thing yeah now in japan they do play a different format they play best of one 25 minute rounds and then when you lose three times you're out of the tournament um i don't know how they do something like I don't know how it works after the Swiss part um, maybe someone in chat knows and can tell us but this deck is what ended up winning the whole thing Zor good old Zora like and rock with a few tags and now the original list did have this to Porter um, added and credit and thanks to limitless TCG for the translations it did have the supporter Nanu, which you get to switch a basic darkness Pokemon from your discard pile with one of your Pokemon in play. Any attached cards, damage counter, special conditions, turns in play, and any other effects remain on the new Pokemon, and you discard the Pokemon you switched with, right? So, um, basically, it's a way to get a Weavile out of nowhere, right? If you don't have a Weavile down, but then you really need to use it that turn, it's like a Ninja Boy specifically for Dark Pokemon, right? Ninja Boy never saw a lot of play, but um, I do believe uh, this card allows you to pull off some really sneaky plays or in like, at the very least, it lets you perhaps get another Zorak to get another trade in, but you also get the possibility to get a Weavile back into play or surprise your opponent with a Weavile, right? By getting the Sneasel back from the discard pile now. I ended up, I have to take this card out from the deck um, because it's obviously not available yet in our side of the world. Um, and I ended up adding the fourth Great Ball to maximize consistency. Outside of that, the only other different card is the Grimer. It's a different level than Grimer, but essentially those, like the basic is not going to be too relevant. Yeah. And hello to Ian and Colleen as well. Um, so yeah, we have Zorak GX, Ability Trade. Once you're in a turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand, and if you do, you draw two cards, 210 HP, Righteous Beating, dealing 20 damage for each Pokemon you have in play, and Trickster GX not being too, too relevant, but we can use it since we are playing the Blend Energies. We get to choose one of our opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Now we have Lycanroc Lycan GX with its um, 200 HP, our ability Bloodthirsty Eyes, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So a really good ability. Then we have Claw Slash dealing 110 damage, Dangerous Rogue dealing 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I am very surprised this list did not have any counter gain to be able to Dangerous Rogue for a single energy, but who am I to question the winning list? Um, surprise Ghost Lord is an, is an option as well, Ivan, I guess. Um, we also have the 1-1 one, one Weavile line. Weavile has the attack Icy Wind, dealing 10 damage and putting your opponent to sleep. But you have Evil Admonition, which deals 50 damage times each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. Now, um, can do a lot of damage, does make your opponent have to play around the fact that they don't want a lot of abilities in play, or um, they have to accept the fact they're probably going to lose a GX for a non GX. So a really good threat to have. And then we have the Ditto Prism Star, which can evolve into any of the aforementioned stage ones, along with the 1-1 one, one Alolan Mock line. Alolan Mock allows you to essentially out of win, pretty much, um, Gramble decks, which are usually a bad matchup for Zorg. Um, Power of Alchemy, each basic Pokemon in play, in players' hands and in each player's Discord Ball has no abilities, therefore no Orange Guru for them. And it also, I guess, in the late game, stops double A-list from your opponent's Pokemon uh, from your opponent's side of the field from working, stops their Ditto as well, stops uh, Marshadows, etc. We have our own Marshadow for Let Loose, and we have our own Tapu Leles um, for consistency purposes. And then we are essentially, as Pedro would say it, we are Team um, T. 
Team Lily, right? So we're playing the Lily engine with four Lily, four Nest Ball, four Great Ball, and four Ultra Ball. We are also uh, playing three Judge, a single Apricorn Maker, a single Cynthia, double Kuzma, one Isrola, one Professor Kukui. And then we have triple Choice Band, two Stadiums, one Palpad, one Rescue Stretcher. I feel like the deck didn't have triple Judge, maybe it was just two. I'm actually not 100% sure. I thought it was two, but it might be three. Um, four DCs, four unit energy that provides fighting, fairy, and darkness. Um, essentially, we're only worried about the darkness and the fighting, but it's pretty good to have that. And not have to worry about the damage counter from the rainbow energy. So let's jump into a ladder and see how we can do with this champion deck from all the way in Japan. Now, interesting to note, they already have that old dark type set. Well, not all dark type, but dark border essentially, uh, which is not our next set, interestingly enough. But um, they um, they have that set, but the list that ended up winning only had one new card, right? And it I wouldn't even say it was one of the best cards from the new set, but oh well. Um, and you saw someone who played at this made a tournament report. His round three. Oh, this is a terrible hand. His round three and four opponents stacked against him. So Fusion Shuffling doesn't seem to be taking that seriously in Japan. Didn't play Stadium. Oh, I I did have two Devoured Fields, right? Did I not have two Devoured Fields in the list? If not, then that was definitely the missing card, but I believe I did have two Devoured Fields. Um, yeah, V, I read that and yeah, maybe, I, I mean, the person said that in Japan they don't have um, shuffling rules, right? So, pretty interesting or pretty... Oh, new new stadium prisons are, yeah, no, no, none of those new stadiums indeed. Okay, so my opponent starts Lele, we'll probably go for the Elm. Elm. For Ralts, Volpix, Ralts. So this is gonna be a difficult matchup for sure. I do have two ultimate art fields, yeah. I, I got confused by H2WM's comment. Okay. So, we see a pass. Okay, so the Ultra Wall top deck is nice because we can thin quite a bit. The Great Ball, I feel like, should definitely grant me a Zorua, right? I'm gonna have to make some like aggressive plays here. So I'm definitely gonna grab the Lily, right? Maybe I should have grabbed the Lily first and then played the Great Ball to thin, but it ends up working out in the end. And now I definitely think I'm gonna use a Kuzma into an attack next turn. Therefore, I'm gonna have to lose the Choice Band and the Stretcher. There's no way around that. I'm gonna grab a Rockruff. My opponent could fill himself up with abilities. And Okay, I generally think attaching to the Zorua is correct here. Uh, maybe it's not though. Ugh. I'm gonna attach. Well, my opponent have Guzma DCD off of his four card hand. I did get the extra energies. I do get the Ditto, which is probably one of the most valuable cards I could have gotten because that gives me the option to Weavile without like giving away the fact that I have Weavile. Um, Henry, no worries. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You are never late. Yeah, no matter when you get to stream. It's always good. Oh, come on Come on Punished I mean I was okay. So my debate was should I Lily and hope to get a unit energy? Always punished right always punished like my opponent's hand is bad but he has a Guzma, and he had already discarded a Guzma, which made this even less likely, right? Made this even less likely. 
Okay, so my Ditto will have to become Zork. Ugh, that was... Jeez. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Okay. Um... Is Judge the way to go? Yeah. Come on. Oh well. Oh well, sees. I got punished. I don't think that was a greedy play, especially not after seeing him discard one Guzman. That deck plays three Guzmans, does it? Do I judge though? My opponent didn't do anything last turn other than Guzma KO. So I'm gonna play it like chill. If he had nine tails and other stuff, he probably would have set, set that up already. Um, however, he did Elm, not for a Mudkip. There's a Mudkip, but why wouldn't you Elm for the Mudkip? I don't know. There's a Kirlia. More than one energy in this deck. What is this Witchcraft indeed? Let's see the second DC Gravel is busted. Hopefully not. Right, hopefully not. There we see the Cynthia. Was that actually his top deck? No, that, he had that in his hand. He top decked the mod cave, I'm pretty sure. He definitely top decked the mod cave. Okay, so we're gonna see an ultra roll. Now we're gonna see the crazy turn. Ultra roll for nine tails, nine tails grab. Rare candy, rare candy to Gardevoir. And then DC for knockout? That's literally a worst case scenario. If Weavile survives, we are okay-ish. If Weavile doesn't survive here though, we are in a lot of trouble. If Weavile doesn't survive, we are in a world of trouble. Oh my gosh, Timer Bolt, please flip Double Tails. Please flip Double Tails. Now, one heads is average. That's average, that's fine. Please don't have double fairy energy. Would you? Yeah, I think you do commit. If my opponent has double fairy energy or the DC, I think you do commit. That's why you play Nanu. Potentially, Jack 7. Potentially, yeah. No, please no. Debating on Kuto Secret Spring 2. I mean, my opponent has four Pokemon in play oh, to the garden. Good. I was gonna say, if he wanted to attack with the uh, Nine Tails, he would survive the hit, but one choice man would let me knock him out. I think you retreat here into the Ditto. 60 damage on Weavile doesn't matter. And you'd rather lose a Ditto than the, than the Lele. I would say. Now it sucks that my opponent will finish the turn with two cards in his hand. Although if these two cards are dead, then you need to- oh my gosh. This guy. This guy. So ridiculous. So stupidly ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um, Face to the OEM. <laughs> Thank you so much. <sighs> that was so ridiculous. That was so ridiculous. Okay, and we gave him extra cards. Like that's on top of it all. We gave him extra cards. Um, hello, Freddy and Summer. Thank you so much for being here. Yikes! PTCGO can't match make, so it gives one of you the win. Eminence do make everything better. Another nine tails from that ditto, which does mean a thank you so much for the follow, Jack Seven. 
Uh, does mean the Swampert. Oh, come on. And the Choice Band. Please don't KO me. Please just have a little bit of mercy. Just a little bit. I don't see how we're going to win this game anyway. We need way too many turns here. Very DC Choice Band gets him a knockout. He already has a Choice Band. You can assume the Fairy. Hopefully the DC is a missing card, the one that he doesn't hit. Or Super Boost. That also works. Secret Spring. Does he have it? He does, doesn't he? He does have it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no comments. Next game. Must be nice. Must be freaking nice. Okay, so we do have the advantage, supposedly, supposedly, nice winning list, <laughs> nice champion list, right? I mean, no champion list could have defeated an opponent running like that. Absolutely no way to beat someone running like that. Absolutely no way. Okay. <laughs> it's not about the bag, it's about like, my opponent could not have asked for better cards every single turn. Okay, so let's great ball. Let's grab the rock rough because they're adding energy on rock rough. Getting energy on Rock Ruff on turn one is pretty nice. If this Great Bolt gets us a Zorua, which it does, that's awesome. Okay, this is a pretty good start. Uh, I mean, it all snowballed when I didn't wait on the Lily attachment, right? It all snowballed down from there. Yeah, that was, that was her. Okay, so we're gonna see a Lele for Elm. Probably the same matchup, but a whole completely different deck. Oh, it's not the same matchup. This is the CGI Ninetales Zork, I would assume. So, presumably the better Zork deck. Um, also, the slower one. And six, four star. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. How am I finding the Japanese list? What's the buzzing sound? What buzzing sound? Okay, so we're gonna see a beacon. We do have the judge. Triple judge is actually pretty nice in the list. And the Jap this Japanese list, like it's it's Zoro Rock. Right? It's honestly nothing special. It's Zork, we vile like and rock. It's nothing special. Um, it plays out as it should. It stumbles onto itself a little bit, especially if your opponent draws the absolute nuts every single turn, just like the previous game. But um, it's solid, it's consistent, and the triple judge is pretty helpful. Yeah, thanks so much for the follow. And I come down. And let's go ahead and judge and then we will trade that way we send we see eight cards after the judge which is pretty cool um probably gonna give up on the lily right probably gonna give up on the lily and then now i think the great ball is the discardable card because the kuzmas and the energy are super valuable and there's a pretty sweet hand to have what a big difference it makes going first going first is is too big of an advantage i think right now in the format you hear it too i don't hear a buzzing sound 
<laughs> no worries, Lara. Thank you so much for the game. Enhance Hammer. I do, Freddy. Yeah, Judge is a pretty good card. In, a, in an endless format, Judge is a pretty... Judge is a pretty good card indeed, especially with Zork. Especially with Zork. So there's my opponent's Zork and Ninetales. should make it so the player going first doesn't draw a card in the first turn yeah that would help a little bit that would help a little bit potato thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hanging out here very very kind of you very very kind of you i'm guessing that ultra is for a lily no oh my gosh really and potato thank you so much for choosing to use your twitch prime subscription on the channel very kind of you there go the m ms <laughs> there go the m ms um have i seen have i ever seen a good shift tree gx list not really shift tree gx is just a very underwhelming pokemon must be nice for my opponent <laughs> um so i think i'm gonna Go Lele into Kukui. That's gonna be the plan. There's no more orange ones, H2WM, no. They got uh, pulled out of the cup. Okay. Is our control best deck in the format? Eh, I don't think it is. It was really good at the time it was played, but when it's played, like when people know about it and prepare for it, then that's when it's less good. Um, I have two choice bands. One choice band is prized. So I'm gonna need a choice band to be in the next six cards. Otherwise, well, and I have Marshadow as well, which is nice. Otherwise, I can just retreat into the Weavile. So perhaps, yeah, I'll get rid of the Zork. <laughs> Zomber loves the MMs flying everywhere. Well, you can, you can help with that, Freddy. <laughs> And then, will I need three energy? Will I actually need three energy? Yeah, let's get rid of the Zorua. I wanna be conservative with my energy. Okay, so I will attack with um, with the Weavile indeed. I just figured attacking with Zorak and saving Weavile for later was going to be just slightly, slightly better. Definitely not going to Marshadow my opponent this time around. <laughs> Do you want that? It was fun. It was fun. Brazil is always nice. Um, the food is great. Um, so definitely an enjoyable time. And then I have Lele is the biggest threat. I I have knockout on anything with Weavile. I need my opponent to whiff at DCE so that he doesn't kill my Weavile. If he does, then it's gonna be super annoying. Um, promotes the the nine tail. So I am okay with that. I'm okay with him promoting the Ninetales. That means my Weavile is probably going to, um, probably going to survive, right? Unless he finds energy, fairy energy plus counter gain off of this one trade. And I assume since he's not trading immediately, since he's not trading immediately, he was really debating. Yeah, the counter gain was one of the cards he needed. Right? The counter gain was one of the cards he needed. How did I forget my supporters, Burrito Boy? I forgot. I make mistakes. <laughs> I make mistakes. Apparently bigger than other people. <laughs> but I do make mistakes. There's a rainbow energy. 
No Guzma, though. That's good. Okay. So I need a choice band to knock out this Nine Tails. However, having an energy on the Lycan Rock should be good enough. Okay, let's trade first. Yeah, let's trade first. Pablo, follow your own advice. Trade first. I forgot to write them down, Burrito Boy. Let's go ahead and Nest Ball for eight. No, not Ditto. Well, I mean, he's not going to go after the Ditto. So actually, Ditto might have been the right call. And then let's go ahead and trade the Great Ball. How high would I have had to finish in Brazil to get a stipend for Australia? Top 128 would have been enough. Top 128 would have been enough to get me the stipend. Okay, so I'm going to knock out Zorg here. I have exactly 210 damage thanks to the stadium. Uh, actually, no, that's wrong. Zorg would have been taken down by Lycanroc. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. We'll just play this and then we shall evil admonition for 210 damage. Like we're so far ahead at this point that it doesn't matter what I do. <laughs> it's to double yam. That's pretty good. 50 bits with one ad. That's good. <laughs> Crusader. I mean, I fully expect um, people to ask me about this for probably the rest of my Pokemon career. <laughs> I've made my peace with it. Um, so who do we promote? My opponent is going to Kuzma, I assume, right? Um, so yeah, just any points at Brazil would have been enough to get me the stipend. Um, you high roll on PTCGO and you watch ads. <laughs> That's cool. Is my microphone near a speaker? No, it's not. Are you also hearing the buzzing sound? I think now I hear it too. Is it really bad? Sounds like a fan, definitely nowhere near a fan here. Okay, so I can't win now because I did that. I mean, I didn't have knockout anyway, so I had to do that. So I can't win this turn, so I'll just attack the Decidui, right? I'll simply attack the Decidui, get a Grimer down, and... Yeah. I'll just trade. Should be training first. What if it's a ghost? <laughs> kind of doubt it. Uh, the Ultra Ball could be important to get a Lycan Rock. How did Meganium testing go the Crusader? It went okay. Like nothing special. It's a pretty fun deck to play for sure. But it's not like the end all be all of decks that absolutely breaks the format. It's just a really original, really cool deck to use. Yeah. Okay, so. Dealing some damage. I feel like if you're gonna attach the energy there, you are committing at the very least to the hollow hunt, right? At the very least, you're committing to the hollow hunt. Now we see a Cynthia, so that's game. I mean, switch, etc. We just drag this guy up and knock it out, either with a GX attack and a choice band, if he does not bench anything else, or we go Guzma. And I was about to click, well played. Okay. Okay, so one more game with this deck. What is my streaming schedule, Jaycan? So, technically, ideally, I try to stream every single day of the week between 12 p.m. CST and 3 or 4 p.m. CST, right? But the different coaching... Um, people that I have um, at different time zones, like in Europe, um, Oceania, and the United States, like that ends up sometimes um, shuffling things around. But I try to stream from uh, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. CST or around that time um, almost every day, yeah, or I try to every day. 
any more expanded streams this week definitely tripping on shroomish like i just wanted to really play this standard decks um because they're just like fresh out of the oven from japan um so it's definitely worth it not only to showcase them because people are curious about them but also um to build up the hype i guess um on youtube and twitch we did have 250 viewers at at one point earlier today when we were playing the mechanium deck um and then afterwards we will be moving to expanded yeah uh cst most posted time zone indeed it's a night stream for europe indeed that's pretty cool um best coach ever thank you so much cricket very kind of you to say so um you hope mechanium greninja inspires some other creations yeah like i could see meganium uh meganium ninetales coco spread with porygon c or something that could be interesting there's this bro broken kabut up soma star what do i think about that i mean why would they print something like that i don't know um they seem like interesting cards but we won't get those cards until february so they're not too too relevant you know they're not too too relevant i don't know because there's so here's what i don't know there's a set in japan the dark order set um which came out before the tag team set but it is announced that for february we are getting the tag team set so what's going to happen with the dark order cards that's i don't know that's what i don't understand what do you think of white curem quagsire and aganadel pretty decent um non-gx based deck um can be a bit flimsy i guess um because you don't have like that reliable draw engine but it seems like a pretty strong um shrine of punishment deck for sure okay so decent start for both of us and now we're up against the um against the meganium deck so based on what we know right based on what we know about the deck we know that KOing meganium is a big deal right not much we know um oof energy is pretty good because i don't i doubt my opponent will get a knockout on me next turn right so we still need a dc but we can potentially threaten the meganium so knocking out taking down the meganiums is pretty important and knowing about like the switch counts and the guzma counts is pretty important because it could get to a point where if my opponent has burned the four switches and, th and the two Guzmas, we just stop attacking and then they deck themselves out because they can't attack, right? And if any opportunity you have to get rid of the super boost energy, you have to take it. This is the rare candy meganium. Yeah. Indeed, you want them. They all have terrible weaknesses. Do you have any thoughts on Jayla Sage's ban? I did not know he was banned. Was he banned for the article he wrote? I mean, <laughs> it's not the first time Ale Sage has been banned. Apparently not the last one. Jay's a pretty cool guy though. His article was pretty, pretty damning though. Shotgun Nostrils, thank you so much for the five M&Ms. Very kind of you. <laughs> Very kind of you. Oh no, two of them didn't make it to the cup. <laughs> That's very sad. That's very sad. Where did you guys hear about that? I definitely didn't hear about that. I guess it happened today? I don't know. Um, I I like Jay Lesash. He's a, he's a cool guy, even though like the article was a pretty bad idea <laughs> from him. Um, did it warrant the ban? I don't know. He talked about um, using the clock in your advantage. Um, essentially time stalling. Okay, ooh, great ball. So my opponent has made changes to the list. Oh, and he's using Cosmog and wait, why would you? Use? Oh, so okay, so Solgalio solves the switching issue, right? So Galio solves the switching issue. So instead of four switches, you can play one one Sol Galio GX. <laughs> Team by Pokemon. We've already talked about the Meganium deck a lot. Uh, basically, you use Meganium to set up your stage two Swampert, and then you use Greninja GX. You only play one Super Boost Energy in the deck, so you use Greninja GX's attack to attack, and then put the Super Boost back into the deck where it's safe. Yeah. 
because if it's in play, your Greninja can either be knocked, your energy can be knocked out or removed by Enhanced Hammer or Plumeria, I guess, or Faba. Um, and if the energy is in your hand, it can be attacked by Team Skull Grunt. But if it's in the deck, it's safe. So you just cycle Greninja and with Meganiums, you are able to just continually evolve into Greninja and cycle it back over and over and over and over, you know? Okay, so... Yikes, what a hand by my opponent. That was his turn two. We never got an explosive turn two like that. I guess he removed the timer balls for Great Balls? Okay, so 100% my play is now to remove the Swampert, right? That will slow the deck down quite a bit. That will slow the deck down quite a bit. I will evolve, and then do I let lose or do I judge? I think I'm going to let lose this time. Uh, Team by Pokemon, I already used the deck, um, but the video will be up on YouTube in a little bit. Yeah. I will be, like, immediately after I finish the stream, I will be uploading the um, the video. Okay, and now a lot of abilities does mean that um, Weavile is going to be pretty good here. Uh, Grimer is going to be useless, so I won't be uh, keeping that. And let's go ahead and GX, right? My opponent's down to four cards and no draw power. Um, do you want uh, what expanded am I gonna go over? Nothing today. Um, I haven't thought of anything spicy. I, Durant. Durant is something that a lot of people wanted to see, so I will be playing some Durant. Um, I honestly haven't given it much thought. I knew the Japanese tournament was happening happening this weekend, so I knew I wanted to to play with that. Um, Okay, so my opponent did get a Luger's Whistle. Did get a Mudkip as well off of the four cards. Knocking out another Swampert is going to be very difficult because they do have 160 HP. It's not impossible. No, it is impossible for Zoark to pull it off. My opponent says well played. He didn't grab any Lukers, So his other two Lukers were prized? Okay. So we targeted the engine, right? If you can deny the Meganium, that's good. If you can deny the Swampert, that's even better. Um, so pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool that the experience we just got with the stage two deck ends up factoring into this, right? I mean, against any deck that runs Swampert, you target that down, right? But we are able to like go for, for something like beyond that. Um, why do, you, why do you play Luker in that? Um, because you can use Ninetales ability to search for the Whistle and the Whistle gets you to Lukers. So essentially the Ninetales can also get you draw cards, right? Rather than just items, it also gets you like extra cards and a draw supporter for the turn. Um, definitely starting the Ditto here, pretty bad hand. Um, two Durants made a pop band, they call it Durant Durant. <laughs> uh, we're up against Lost March. A deck that will definitely not miss a beat, and then this is very bittersweet because my opponent uses Trombeak. Therefore, my top deck is not a supporter, which is good because it didn't get lost zoned by Trombeak, but it's also bad because we're dead drawing, therefore, this sucks. <laughs> um, Jake, and what is the difference between standard and expanded? So, as the name would imply, um, expanded format allows you to play cards from much older series, all the way back to 2010, I believe. Um, from the black and white set onwards up to everything that's released uh, today, meaning Lost Thunder, yeah? And there are some cards banned, but for the most part, you can use um, most of the cards, yeah? Um, whereas in Standard, you can only use cards from the Sun and Moon sets and onwards, so cards from essentially the last, um, the past two years, yeah? So that's the difference, the, the size of the card pool. Okay, so my opponent kind of did me a favor um, the energy will go to Azurua, right? Yeah, that way I can get any energy to get a KO next turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this Great Ball is going to have to be the greatest Great Ball in the history of Great Balls. Um, <laughs> I'm going to grab Azurua. Lycanroc is not going to be too useful here. I'm even going to pass, because that way I can draw a card and then Great Ball, and therefore I'm looking at the next 8 rather than the next 7. 
Um, Sun and Moon being out two years already sounds crazy, right? Sun and Moon came out in November of 2016, right? Sun and Moon came out in November 2016, yeah. So exactly two years ago. Dark Integral Donald lost three supporters to three Trombic on turn one. It was epic. <laughs> oh boy, how, is, how unlucky is that? How unlucky do you have to be? Yikes. That's not very nice for Donald. Okay. Desi Plume became a deck indeed. Desi Plume, one of one of Desi Plume is like an origin deck for Table One. Desi Plume was able was one of the cards that allowed or one of the decks that allowed Table One to become a thing. Oh wow. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Seven, one forty. So my opponent still needs quite a few more. Let's go ahead and okay. Let's go ahead and trade first. And then we will Great Ball. Okay, and there's a Cynthia, that's nice. Okay, so now I'll Great Ball to Thin. There's a Lele. Uh yeah, I'll grab the Lele, I guess. Do I wanna bench the Lele though? It's just an extra target for my opponent. And I don't there's nothing I can play to guarantee me energy, so. Okay, so I do find the energy, so I'm very, very, very glad I attached that one. Right? Very, very glad. Uh Lele Lele or Lily? I think the Lele. Very glad I attached that energy. Well I got the DC anyway, so. Technically, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, Alolan Mog actually has a lot of use here to stop the Orange Guru, right? Um, I'll commit this energy because there's even a chance I survive. Um, I don't want to use Trickster GX. <laughs> I really don't. So I will take the knockout. You're still playing in 98 just before Fossil launched. Wow, that's a long time ago, Shotgun Nostrils. Um, do you want that you start playing competitively in Burning Shadows? You hate that deck with a passion. Can you please expand on the Desi Plume table one, realgames.ca? Desi Plume, it was, Vile Plume was a, uh, is a card that wouldn't allow either player to play item cards. And then Desidui is the same Desidui, right? But I say that because, um, I got fired from my job in February of 2017 and then in March 2017 the Oceana tournament happened and I got second place there and that's where I decided to start table month full time yeah so it's like and my success with Desiplume led to um, the channel gaining uh, quite a lot of popularity as well so that was pretty cool okay so I'm gonna go ahead and trade the Lily, because I'm definitely going to Acerola, and I wouldn't mind having that extra Zora on board. Uh... Okay, now I'll trade the Zora. Could have traded a DC, but I don't think that's necessary. I get that. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely using Acerola, and I'll get another trade, which is great. Yeah, I don't think I'm using Weavile, because if I'm, if I'm going to use Mock. If I'm going to activate Mock, then Weavile is going to be useless, right? If I'm going to activate Mock, then Weavile is going to be useless. So I might just discard the Weavile. Um, to get a Rockruff, that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to Ultra Ball away. The Kukui, definitely the Kukui, and a Unit Energy. You never know. Maybe I'll need a non-GX attacker at some point. Oh, the Mock is prized. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I guess I should have known. I'll grab a Lycan. No. I'll just grab a Zorg. Ugh. Silly Mug is prized when we want to use it. That is not very nice. But now we're ahead in the price trade off. Um, my opponent is. And there's a Mug that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. My opponent didn't do anything to um, 
add more Pokemon to the Lost Zone last turn, so hopefully he won't be able to get uh, the three, four miss the four he's missing to be able to knock me out with the Jump Bluff. Um, there's the Grass Energy. I might just have to retreat next turn. Um, like I said, maybe there is merit to attacking with Weavile and letting that go down. But I feel like there's more value in using Mog to deny potential Rangurus and future Let Loose Marsh Shadows. Can Beast Box be a competitive deck in the standard format? I don't think so. And you want that? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, You've been watching since 2016. I mean, I was like, I was doing table month since 2015, right? But I started doing it full time um, almost two years ago. Yeah. In March 2017 was when I started doing it full time. Um, and thank you. I have been playing competitively for a very, very long time. Um, and I do have some good results, I guess. <laughs> so, trade the lily. I mean, basically now it becomes a, a game of denying price cards, right? And I'll trade the choice band. Yeah, you're not going crazy, Shotgun Nostrils. Um, the, I started the channel in August 2015. Or no, Ju July, August 2015. But I started doing this full time. Uh, yeah, Team by Pokemon, that works. <laughs> Thank you. And Phoenix Knight, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so I'm gonna keep sitting. I'll grab the Lycan Rock just to have it as an option in case I need to target on the Natu, which is essentially the only threat. I will, however. Yeah, I think I'm gonna attack with the. No, I don't wanna give my Punta Price card. I really don't wanna give my Punta Price card if I don't have to. So do I go Mock? Yeah, let's go Mock, because I will be open up, opening up a bench space that does mean um, potential Marsh Shadow, uh, but this means no more Orange Guru at all. Um, what was my job before? My job before, I used to work in marketing at a marketing company, that's where I got fired from, and then um, I have a degree in chemical engineering, so I had two jobs doing chemical engineering stuff. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that was my, that's what I did before Table One or during Table One, right? When I started Table One, I had the marketing job. I started Table One, then I got the marketing job and then I got fired and then I did Table One full time. And before that I had a few chemical engineering jobs. Um, okay. So my point didn't get an, an attack off this turn, which is great. I'll trade the Zorg. And then let's trade the Ultra Ball. A uh, Guzma would be nice to target down the energy, which is the only resource that my opponent, the only valuable resource that my opponent has right now. Trade the other Ultra Ball. Um, okay, so no Guzma. So we'll just take the KO. I'm gonna go ahead and attach to his Zorg. Clearly Zorg is the way to go here. Now I could evolve like a rock and target down the Jump Love, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh. So maybe attacking the jump love is worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very far ahead now. I'm so far ahead to the point where eliminating this threat just makes it even harder for him to get a knockout. Right? And so... Um, you remember I used to get so salty? <laughs> I guess I still get salty, but I do try to keep um, everyone's comments um, in mind and I try my best, right? Sometimes I can super control it well, sometimes I can't. My emotions are always uh, a big factor. I've been I've been told I am hyper emotional, so factors in. Uh, we see a Kuzma. Uh, Jake, and you hope to see Pablo versus Todd. I imagine you mean Tord in World's Final soon. That would be amazing. That would definitely be pretty cool. Chemical Engineering turning to Pokemon indeed. There's a victory, very nice. Um, I bet was not going to be able to catch up to us anymore. Um, so yeah, pretty solid deck. Um, Paolo versus Tord in the World's Final, that would be awesome. Last time I played against Tord, I beat him at World's 2017. Um, 
Shotgun Nostrils, your son who you play tournaments with was 11 and now you play with grandkids. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, so I believe that's going to be it for today. That way I have some time to freshen up before the coaching sessions I have for today. I have time to eat. Um, uh, all the M&Ms that you guys gave me today, I guess. <laughs> I will be done for the day guys thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate it let's host someone right let's pass on the love to someone um either pedro or stefan let's let's go pedro pedro is really cool you know he beat me in the finals he's pretty cool um so yeah i will be passing on the love to pedro Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I will hopefully, I will definitely rather see you guys tomorrow, right? I will definitely see you guys tomorrow. Yep. See you guys tomorrow um, for another day of streaming. Maybe back to Expanded. Maybe more Japanese decks. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or well, I'll figure it out um, throughout the rest of the day. Thank you guys so much. And until next time. Bye-bye.